Hello and welcome to another edition of Father Dave's Parish Update for Friday, April 22nd, 2022. This weekend, uh, the second Sunday uh, of Easter, or the, the Sunday after Easter, uh, we celebrate the Feast of the Divine Mercy, a wonderful devotion originated with uh, from the visions of St. Faustina in, uh, I think, back in the year 2002 or so. Um, uh, the Pope, uh, Pope John Paul II, uh, who also had a great devotion uh, to the Divine Mercy, declared this a regular uh, feast day in the life of the church to be celebrated the Sunday after Easter. So today for our prayers, I'm just going to pray some of the prayers from the Divine Mercy Chaplet and uh, as we invite God's mercy upon us this day. Begin as always in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer to you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and for those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. St. Pius X, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. Most holy divine mercy, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we continue with Easter greetings uh, this week, as we're still in the octave of Easter for eight days from Easter Sunday and following. We have what we call the Easter octave, these uh, days where in a sense, the whole week um, is considered part of the whole Easter Sunday celebration. It's like one extended Easter Sunday. And so, uh, happy Easter and hallelujah, he is risen. He is risen indeed. It's kind of the greeting for Easter. We had a wonderful Holy Week uh, celebrations. Our liturgies, I uh, had a good number of people attending all of our liturgies. And uh, uh, I believe we had uh, one of the largest uh, numbers of people overall. Uh, this this year so far again kind of post pandemic so it was a wonderful time for celebrating again Holy Thursday we celebrated the institution of the Blessed Sacrament the, the Eucharist by our Lord the institution of the ordained ministry the priesthood and the ministry of priesthood and the call to service and charity that were given and the washing of the feet Good Friday of course we reflect upon and celebrated the the gift of Christ's death upon the cross and his giving himself um, in love for us uh, through the will of the Father. And then Holy Saturday, of course, the Easter Vigil, the celebration of the light of Christ breaking through darkness and the resurrection event. We celebrate the initiation of a number of our uh, parishioners, several of our new parishioners, uh, four men this year, uh, one being baptized and confirmed and receiving First Eucharist. Two of them uh, who were baptized Christian in another denomination we received into the church, received confirmation of First Eucharist, and one young man uh, who was already a baptized Catholic has already received communion, but was confirmed. Uh, so, a whole uh, spectrum of all the different rites of initiation that we celebrated together. You know, the proper ordering of the sacraments historically has always been uh, uh, receive again reconciliation or uh, excuse me, receive uh, baptism, uh, then confirmation, then First Eucharist. And, um, and receiving, again, celebrating conf com uh, confession or reconciliation before the sacrament of Eucharist and confirmation. So, but again, so it's a wonderful celebration. Uh, again, so many people, we had, uh, the weather was blessing us on the whole, at least for part of Holy Week. Easter Sunday, we have a little snow. Um, uh, today, I guess we have some rain outside, but the temperatures are getting warmer. So it's all part of our spring, uh, spring springing into life, so to speak, in the springtime. Yet during this Easter season, we continue with many wonderful celebrations here at St. Pius. We have both our First Communion classes and our Confirmation celebrations coming up. Uh, First Communion this year are going to celebrate uh, two different Sundays. We're having a Sunday afternoon liturgy, a special uh, First Communion Mass uh, this Sunday, April 24th, and the following Sunday, May 1st at 1.30 p.m. Uh, with all of our first communicants and their families. Uh, our confirmation with Bishop Jones will be coming up uh, next Friday, 
on April 29th. So we look forward to welcoming Bishop Johnson once again for the wonderful celebration and confirmation with our, our young people, our high schoolers. Uh, it's a wonderful time to uh, experience the joy of the Holy Spirit at work in their hearts. Of course, as the month of May uh, will unfold before us, we'll be gearing up toward end of the school activities, graduations, etc. Um, and so again, it's just a wonderful, wonderful time of year uh, to celebrate the power and presence of God and the Most Holy Spirit. So keep everyone in your prayers, especially our young people, as they receive those special sacraments in the upcoming weeks. The girls are being extra noisy today. They must be filled with Easter joy. <laughs> a little update on our building project as always. The project continues to move forward. Um, uh, inside the, the uh, parish center, we have the, the bleachers have been installed and uh, with the gym flooring going in and all the lights are done inside the, the gym for the most part, I believe. So it's really uh, taking shape and looking like something. Uh, again, throughout the whole facility, they're doing painting. They're installing windows now in the new addition, the, the interconnect building. Uh, so the windows are going in. Uh, again, bit by bit, we're getting there. We're doing some planning now for purchasing of all of our furnishings, tables, chairs, desks, etc., shelving, and just getting all those things put together. It'll be a busy uh, month or two ahead of us, and we're still looking for around the 1st of June uh, for the completion of the project. So uh, knock on wood, uh, cross your fingers, all those good things for the, the completion of the project moving forward. We still are planning our grand opening, if you will, our big celebration on our parish feast day in August, uh, the, the weekend of August 20th and 21st. Uh, we're getting all that kind of starting to put together now, some ideas for that. Uh, but that'll be the big, big, big celebration for the whole parish in the new facility. Of course, once we have occupancy in the new building, we'll be able to get into it uh, before that August date, uh, do some tours and, and actually use the facility in some fashion. But we're uh, Kind of working with the bishop to see if he can join us on that weekend in some fashion to help us celebrate the opening of the facility so we're looking forward to that and trying to get all that stuff worked out so mark your calendar for that weekend august 20th and 21st uh, for the grand opening celebration of our new facility and just a wonderful parish celebration in general it'll be our parish feast day it is august 21st the feast of saint pius the tenth so that would all come together around that day Two other quick reminders, our annual diocesan appeal continues to move forward. We'll be sending out a, a little reminder letter to all of you in the next, uh, within the next week, uh, kind of a, a little follow-up uh, to anyone maybe who hasn't yet made your pledge. We invite you to do so. Uh, we thank all of you who have made your pledges. I think so far as the last official record I have, we have about 375 uh, people who made pledges. Uh, uh, we're a little over halfway there in terms of the numbers of people making pledges. Most years we have about 650 to 670 uh, households making pledges. I think to date, in terms of uh, collected funds, we have about $145,000, which is about a little shy of 70% of our overall goal of $212,000. So again, thank you so much for your generosity and support as always, uh, along with the regular uh, tithing that uh, you do to help contribute to our, our ongoing functioning as a parish community. Uh, our capital campaign initiative with the new building, I think to date we've collected a little over $3.5 million. It's incredible. Again, with a, our overall pledge amount of a little over $5 million. So we're, uh, we're doing very well. We thank you for your, all the financial support that you give us at the parish. Just a special shout out as always to all of you, all of our parishioners who give yourself in so many different ways. Um, whether it's as, as parents and families of our young people in relationship to school or our faith formation activities uh, here at the parish, as you can witness to your faith and pass on the faith. It's one of the greatest uh, vocations a person can have uh, as a parent is to help raise adults in the faith, raise uh, young people to the life of faith in Christ, let alone all the other things we want for our young people. Thank you. Uh, to all those um, parishioners who have assisted us in so many ways, especially again throughout the last couple of weeks. All the behind the scenes people helping to prepare uh, decorations and environment and liturgies and musicians and everyone <laughs> working around uh, to make uh, this time of year so special for us in faith. Uh, we pray that the Lord will continue to bless those and all those in need. Of course, we continue to hold in prayer, especially with this Divine Mercy Sunday of those who experience uh, war and brokenness, especially in Ukraine and many other parts of the world that uh, peace 
uh, and God's mercy will reign in the hearts of all. May God bless you as we move forward in the week ahead and uh, as we continue to live out God's call to love God, to love others, to make disciples and restore all things in Christ. May God bless you and again, a happy and blessed Easter.